go. This, this, all right, well, let's get some music going. Also here. There we go. Alrighty. Let me just adjust the music a little bit. There you go. All right, we are live, we are live. Arcane drops. There we go. All right. So. Okay. Everything looks good. Uh, I should get my glasses. I'll be right back. the telephono. So we have Yeah, if you uh if you stay it says if you stay connected for an hour, you should be able to get the uh arcane emote. Uh so yeah, uh, we'll see how it works. I'm not too sure. It's the first time I have drops on the channel, but uh yeah, look forward to it. So tonight we've got the last pre uh, playoffs. Hey, the hell yeah! We have our last uh, div four game that we are casting. Uh, sorry, before last uh, div four match that we are casting, because we're casting uh, the rivals on uh, Sunday, and um, it was our week nine match against uh, Nine Tail Fox Lightning. I uh, so we look forward uh, to seeing the boys play some gamesies. Ooh, Legion TD2 went on sale. That's cool. Uh, okay. Use drop some inventory page to monitor right on the screen one time. All.
I'll wait too long. I just have to sign in my thing for the the, the rewards for you guys. Uh, Authorize. And did it work? Okay, it worked. Okay, there we go. The effort emote. Yo, yo, what's up, Logic? How you guys doing? We're just uh, getting ready. It's about seven minutes before we start, so settle on in. May your drink, your popcorn if you need some, because we're going to have a hell of a fun cast tonight. Yeah, just make sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys have to do anything on your end, but just make sure you're signed in to your Twitch account to be able to receive the arcane. Uh, emote reward after watching for an hour. Speaking of which, the new TFT uh, patch came out and I'm already like 0-4. Let's go. I love it. You know, it's kind of sad. They, they started copyright claiming some Pokemon songs on the playlist and I'm like, no one fucks with Nintendo, but I guess, I guess some random Sri Lankan people can fuck with Nintendo all they want. It kind of sucks. But the playlist is going to get smaller and smaller as the shit claims go. I just don't want to have any issues for when we get to monetization. And uh, yeah, that's what it's going to have to be. So apologies if some of your favorite tunes uh, over the course of the next few streams sort of disappear. I just don't want any trouble. I'm just here to bring you guys a great show. But don't worry, the Donkey Kong music will never go anywhere. 100%. I have confirmation that I'm good to use Donkey Kong music. So, as long as you are here for the Donkey Kong music, don't worry, it's never going anywhere. Make sure to stay hydrated during these intense games. Well, as, as the watcher, it is a lot easier to stay hydrated because you're not casting the game, but like, <laughs> All right, we got about five minutes to go. Oh, sorry for all the finger cracking. Male bones. Okay, what if I did this? Would it be easier? Uh, is there anything haram that I'm showing? I don't think so. Okay, give me a sec. Sorry, I'm, 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 I, we're getting a new camera angle from now on, guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this new camera angle. Is this better? It looks better. There's better lighting and stuff, right? Should we try it with the light on? What do you guys think? For whoever is uh, still chilling in the chat. So I think, I think, I think this angle, like, especially like while I'm casting or whatever, like it looks like I'm looking at the screen, but while I like, looking at you guys. So like, I don't know, it feels nicer, but I wait to hear feedback on it. I do have to work on getting a new uh, headset. The audio feels a little scuffed, but all oh, right, it would help if I put it in the good ear first. Is the song on repeat or are we just lucky? Let's find out. Oh, it's back to back. Okay. Da, 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 da. 
should find a way to shuffle the playlist option. Or just to separate the entries. Okay, looks like the other team has almost made it. Okay, looks like the uh, the other team has made it into. I think one, two. We are just missing. Who the fuck are we missing? Oh, we're missing a shoe. Yeah, we're just missing a shoe. ARAM, the Bridge of Progress. I love how, like, it's not even called ARAM anymore, it's just called Bridge of Progress. That's kind of funny. I was a little bit of an impromptu cast. Um, I did not know that I'd be casting tonight. But, hey, I, uh, I did what I could to get as much sleep as possible. And, uh, yeah. Gonna be okay. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I uh, super weak. Was a bit of disaster. Oh my! I was. Oh, I was yawning so much. But hey, you know, that's my fault for being up like fifteen hours before the super week starts. Like thirteen hours before it starts. Like it was really stupid, but it is what it is. Can't fix stupid people. Nope. Well, we're just waiting on the last person to be invited, and then hopefully we... Sorry, I'm j if you hear uh, microphone noises. I'm just uh, placing my glasses and headset so that my uh, hair, uh, my ears don't get itchy from my hair. It is quite long, so we do have to get a cut eventually, but winter is coming. There's one thing I love about winters, I love having long hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, we died by two casters. Okay, yeah, we were missing Agor, and who else are we missing? I'm confused. There's ten invitees. Okay, yeah, we're missing two people. I don't know if they've done site selection yet. There you go. Oh, banana left? I guess banana is going to be rejoining. Alright, okay, so I want to believe that we have blue side here for Plume in game number one. Okay, I use the drops inventory page to monitor. Okay, cool. Archives and ooh, okay, this might make things easier if I could just okay. I have to look into that. Did not know I could do that. Ooh, a lot of new people in the chat. Yo, welcome, welcome everybody. Settle on in. We're about to start the draft today. We have the last uh, plume match uh, before Super Week. Yeah. Thumbs up. I... <laughs> I tried emoting in the chat. <laughs> oh no. I, uh, that sounds... No, that sounds... Puso? Puso? No, I don't want to say Puso. That sounds dirty, guys. All right, I'm just waiting on the draft link and uh, then we can start the draft. Oh, I got the emote. Well, that's because I streamed. Okay, hardly worth the effort. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
Okay. Let's go! What is that link, Tazy? That looks ugly. Oh, pro draft. Ah, okay, so we're using new software today. Okay, let me get it. Uh, let me make sure it's set up. Uh, draft. Okay, it looks good. We'll work on having better overlays um, after Christmas. Like, just better sorted overlays so I don't have to keep like fixing stuff. But yeah, I, right now I just kind of have like one that says gaming and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Hoo, ay, ay, ay. Bah. I mean, it definitely looks interesting. I kind of miss the whole, like, you know, left side, right side aesthetic, but I, I mean, I guess this works too. Hey, yeah. Alrighty. Here we go. Just waiting on the ready check here for the side of uh, lightning. All right, looks like we're good to start. Here we go. Okay, starting off with DH Plume's first ban. What are we gonna go with? Okay, we're gonna be banning way away from. Let me see. Our players are in position from Crow. Alrighty. And Nautilus is gonna be taken away from Jumpei. Now he doesn't have an excuse to not play it. <laughs> okay. So far, it looks like we are considering hitting the mid lane here for the side of DH Plume. I mean, control mages can be some of the harder matchups. Okay, it looks like we're banning Skarner. Okay, okay, we are banning the very boring things to watch. I love the way we're drafting. So, alright, Kalori is Yon, okay? The meme is dead. Kalori will not be playing Yon this game. Put your hands together if you wanna clap as we take you through this monkey rap. Huh, DK. Donkey Kong. The clock's ticking. Okay, looks like we're gonna be taking another pick away from Crow. Gonna be banning the Syndra. And we're gonna be taking Tazy's Ash away. Not the best AD carry I've seen him play on, but the blind Jin. Okay, the contention for the Mosquito build or the regular Jin build. Which one are we going to see? Let's find out. Mosquito means static shiv RFC. Because, you know, like it just... It's just like... Boop. 
They're just poking people in a running way. He can fly to suit her mood. She's quick and nimble when she needs to be. Crow picking up Oriana, and we've got Jarvin for the ball delivery system here for Banana. Okay. All right. Solid mid jungle for team fights. DK. Donkey Kong. He has no style. He has no grace. But this Kong has a funny face. And stand. When he needs to, the clock's ticking. Ooh, Jompe's Lux coming on through. And now are we going to, are we going to pick H2O's pick? Or are we picking Kalori's mid laner? Interesting combo, the Jin Lux. Lux lands any spell. Jin has the freedom to full combo. Okay, we're gonna grab Kalori Ari, a champion that when it snowballs does so much work. And beware, cause he's out for you. We're looking to hover Nico here in the support position. Could be a top flex, but I really don't think Oriana's going support. Anyways, moving on to round two of the bands. We're probably going to be focusing some top lane. Agor going to have his Mordekaiser taken away as always. Here we are. We've got AD carry in top lane left. We're going to be denying Caitlyn. Maybe Kaisa is the next thing that we're going to be looking for. Kaisa Nico kind of goes hard. Um, but has a pretty bad laning matchup against Lux Jin, but we'll see. And here, what are Lightning going to ban as their last champion? They could either ban a jungler, another jungler, or they could ban a second top laner to reinforce the top lane ban that they just put out. Okay, Agor's Tom Kench gonna be considered and banned away. Could always have been a flex for Mr. Jompei, but uh, top lane Tom Kench is something that we've seen a lot of in the Mamago. And it looks like we're thinking about banning Jinx. Maybe Rotodon doesn't play Kai'Sa. I mean, Kai'Sa is probably the better matchup from Jinx into uh, Jin, but we'll have to see. Nope, the Jinx ban is locked in. Now let's see what... Nine tail fox lightning is going to pick up. They need an AD or a top. They're gonna pick the Siver here. A decent wave clear matchup. Low range though, so uh, might be a little hard in the early parts of the game. And here, DH Bloom have to round out their roster. They have no tank or engage so far. They have Ari who can situationally get good picks and locks with the light binding, but. Let's see some if they want to draw if they want to draw front to back then we need to see an engage okay so H2O on his Mumu and then what's a good blind pick I mean Orn is still up uh, Orn is up Cassante but Cassante doesn't really engage so I'd say like Orn or Malphite are like really good picks here but we may see Igor like pivot to like something like a Volibear or something we'll have to see the clock is ticking. We really don't have a lot of physical damage. So physical damage tank would be nice. Renekton, a good bruiser that has decent follow-up. Uh, gonna be the pickup here for DH Plume. We've got Lightning here with their top lane counter pick. What are they thinking? Nothing has been hovered yet. But let us see if we are going to get a decent counter pick we're gonna pick the Malphite okay because Jin does not move fast so Malphite go burr with the Jarvan EQR the Oriana follows up with the R Nico follows up with the pop blossom okay it's gonna be pretty intense uh... that's gonna be the draft done over here we are opted right into champion select. Let me turn the draft off. Baba boy. And now we get into champ select. Okay. And some interesting matchups. Uh, Malphite doesn't have the worst matchup into Renekton. Of course, it's not like the funnest matchup. But should be able to get a decent amount of CS. It's not like the Cassante matchup 
where uh, it's literally unplayable. Uh, to be fair, Malphite should be starting W in this matchup. I don't know uh, if uh, the Malphite here has a lot of experience against Renekton. But being able to trade, if we plan on going Grasp, I really don't think this is an Arcane Comet matchup. Because if you go Arcane Comet, you're going to be lacking a lot of the a useful defensive uh, early runes uh, that Malphite could have in the primary resolve tree. Keep in mind, uh, when you uh, go primary on a rune tree, you get four choices of runes. While if you go secondary, you only get two. So, and you don't get the big keystone. You only get like the the bottom three. So, Champ Select is wrapping up. We are not taking too much time here with our pick. So, we should be able to get into the game relatively quickly. A reminder on all the folks here that there's about five minutes between now and the time that we get into the game. Hopefully, there are no spectator bugs. So, if you need to go to the washroom, grab a snack, do something, you got to do it now. And, uh, yeah. Just so you don't miss out on any awesome action. La hell yeah! Of course, music in game. We have the in game music, so our regular playlist will be paused. There will be no Donkey Kong, unfortunately, in game, but we'll keep it for out of game and post game lobby and stuff like that. So don't you worry about that. If ever I forget, you can always ping me playlist uh, in the chat, and I always have it up, uh, so it'll be quick to get back on track. Okay, the draft is about to round up here, so it looks like uh we're about to start uh the delay so four minutes starting from the last champion locked in uh i'm going to get a bottle of water real quick so i'll turn the mic off just really quickly and we'll be back I'm back. We've got two minutes and 45 seconds. I got my super Wawa. And uh, hopefully you guys have your hydration and your snack for today's game. As we are about to get into it. Do we have any predictions here live in the chat for game number one? Okay, I turn the bike back on. Okay, I have to make sure. As we get to the 30 second mark, I will be turning the playlist off. But yeah. Creator updates. Oh. Okay. That's cool.
There's some banter in the DH Discord, like always. We are the Yappiners. Okay. It's time to pause the Funky Kong music. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. We're getting into the game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Ooh, KDA All Out Ari, we got Mecha Mouth 5, Porcelain Lux, Imperian Jin, Porcelain Amumu, T1 Red, Nectin, Dark Forge, Driver, Dark Star, Orion, and Solar Eclipse, Siver, and Vanilla Nico. Let's get high. All right, so I gotta do the thing I did during Super Week, which is Super Zoom out. Hopefully, there is no delays. Again, we got Grass Ball, Mouth 5, Double Conk in the Jungle, Double Airy. Uh, Dark Harvest versus Lethal Tempo, and we got Double Comet Bot Lane. Okay, Double Ignite. We got Cleanse versus Barrier. Double well, Quadruple TP, and Regular Smite. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be a classy match. Can we get into the game, please? Oh, thank heavens! Let us get into the games. Is me 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 Come on, you got this. You got this, right, client? League of Legends client, I believe in you. Please load the game. And it worked. Let's fucking go. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we've got an offensive start from the side of Plume. Malphite, of course, taking the Doran shield makes a lot of sense. We'll have to see if Malphite is uh, starting. Has not chosen a skill yet. I'm on directed camera? Okay, looks like we got a bot side invade here for the side of... Um, for the side of Plume. Uh, they were on vision, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to get any cheesy stuff happening. Blue uh, Smite here, what is it called? It's called a Gust, Watcher ha G Gust Walker Hatchling. Okay. Uh, we've got double door. We've got quadruple door. S s yeah, we got six Dorans. No one's starting with Longsword Pot. Uh, I don't f I think it's been a while since we've been able to start like Amtome pots. I remember back in the day you could start Dark Seal. Uh, yeah, you could start like Boots 4 pots on Jin. I don't know if that's still a viable start, but uh, we'll have to see. Anyways, it looks like both teams are considering doing a leak. Actually, no, sorry. Uh, Amumu going to be starting solo as Simba and Rotodon are going to be giving Banana a leash. Here we are to start us off. Okay. I have to see if this offensive start from Renekton is going to get punished by Banana. But we do have Grasp on Malphite. So the damage profile isn't really going to be there. Oh, nice Light Binding into an auto attack. Rodion taking about 15% of the damage here. Uh, I made sure to turn on all sounds for you guys. So you guys could hear auto attacks and stuff. Because I, I was told it was kind of weird. So, but this, that, 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 that the, the thing I had was set up uh, for how I play League. Looks like we've got a early level 2 here from Banana. Looking to get pressure out of this bot lane. The slice into the dice to get away. Reg going to look for a grass proc. Not going to be able to get it. Uh, Agor already a few CSs ahead. In terms of the laning phase, uh, no summoner invested here by a Jarvan, but Jarvan getting an early recall going to mean that uh, he's going to be a little late. It's 245 and he's only done two camps, another nice slice and dice. Unfortunately, we miss out. Uh, 
Okay, Crow has to be careful. But first blood gonna go over to Kalore. Crow not respecting the possibility of an early gang. Rotodon gonna get hurt here. Tazy not gonna be close enough to follow up with an auto attack or the bouncing grenade. But uh, some really good pressure here being put on by Grandpa Jompe, one of the older players on the squad. Agor gonna take a turret shot for the hell of it. Unfortunately, uh, takes one more. His health lead might be in a little bit of trouble. But, but here we are with H2O proactively starting the grub. Crow has to be a little bit careful, not having invested his teleport. Uh, he's only gotten a uh, Dark Seal. Uh, we are going to toggle gold, see that Ari has about a thousand gold. Uh, the Nico clone going to scare John and Tazy off, so we miss about a CS, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, unfortunately, the Lucent Singularity not going to connect. To deal a bit of damage. Tazy's fourth shot going to secure the minion. Looks like we've got standard, not enough for lost chapter start on Ari. Now we're gonna miss another CS here. Fortunately, we are pushing things in. About 900 gold here for the 80 carries. No recall looks to be channeled. Uh, Agor took a cheater and grabbed longsword refillable. Um. A Mumu going Faded Ashes, it's a build that I hate seeing, but it makes a bit of sense. I would, however, just like bomb me into, uh, okay, the slice away from the potential uh, damage. Uh, because he took a cheater, he is going to be a level down. Uh, Malphite, also with a decent CS lead. Uh, will Agor be able to catch up on all the CS? Lucent Singularity, going to proc the Deadly Flourish. Uh, Rotodon gonna be in a bit of trouble, going to die to Jompei's Ignite, and that's a 2v2 win! Ignite for Flash, the AD carry is in trouble. No Flash against Lux Jin, that spells doom early on. Okay, Banana here finds Tazy. Uh, Tazy not going to invest the Flash early. Uh, going to die to the Jarvan Q. But Jompe gets a light binding. The bandage toss. H2O going to kill Banana. Agor taking a trade against a level 6 Malphite. He really needs to hit level 6. Does he hit it on this win? The Unstoppable Force is going to come through. It's going to kill Agor. That's a poor judge of character. Holding his flash and everything. It looks like we are going maybe Black Cleaver first item. Uh, Rich gonna get a decent amount of pressure from this. Already up about 700 gold. And about a dozen CS. Malphite gonna look to take a recall. H2O pondering before starting grubs. Probably just gonna be starting the grubs. Uh, Jin unfortunately dying but has a little bit of a lead here. Uh, looks like uh, Lightning are going to opt to start early Dragon as the trade offer. Uh, Jompe here going to try and see if we can get information. Banana has flat, but Banana has smile. We're pulling the Dragon out. So okay, and Kalori with the Dragon Steel. Banana smiting too early. This is not a mistake. You should be making in competitive. There is no reason that 150 damage should be enough to steal your objective. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. The misplay is from Banana adding up, first costing him a death. Okay, Tazy going to be taking a lot of damage here from the Sivir and the Nico. The Blooming Burst is going to be putting in a lot of work. Bouncing Grenade going to fail to find. Um, and this Malphite is starting to run away with the lead here in top lane. Another nice uh, deadly flourish. Malphite utilizing his uh, W pretty well. H2O in the vicinity though. We've got the curtain call here. Oh, we hit the Sivir once, but unfortunately not able to connect the fourth shot. 
Uh, really nice work by Kalori, though, to take that dragon, essentially making it so that both early objectives are going over to the side of uh, Banana here. Almost gets caught by the Light Binding. Has to be careful. Going to be pushed off defending the wave as uh, H2O just slightly getting ahead. A little, a slight gold lead in every lane outside the top. Fortunately, Igor's down about 600 gold. The lead still hasn't grown here for Malphite. But it is one thing was made very clear is that Reg is capable of fighting off this Renekton. The, uh, the misplay here for the early recall meant that Malphite hit level 6 so early uh, compared to the Renekton. Not having access to the Dominus means that we cannot fight. Agor's got to be careful. Okay, the Dominus coming out. Reg taking a lot of turret shots, but able to just walk away. Okay, Agor gonna miss a bit of CS, but uh, does manage to close the CS gap a little bit. The Pop Blossom gonna be invested with the Ignite, but Simba not gonna be able to lock down this Ori. Uh, the Command Shockwave uh, gonna land, but the Nico root not finding its home. Here now we have... Uh, Kalor taking a recall has almost malignance, about 600 gold off of it. Uh, that's good. Oriana now finishing her lost chapter. Uh, the Deadly Flourish going to find once again Simba being punished heavily in this bot lane. Poor Rotodon doesn't have. Uh, the Lucid Singularity, a Lux ult combo because the Light Binding landed is going to be enough to just kill Simba. Daisy has to be careful. Banana is on his way. Another Light Binding into Deadly Flourish. Simba disconnected. Jompei with a nice flash, but the Cataclysm is just going to be enough to kill Jompei. Unfortunately, we overextended here on the side of Plume, uh, giving them a little bit of a way back in. We've got 30 seconds here uh, until the grubs, but let's assess uh, the current laning phase. Right now, Reg is pooping all over Agor's face. He's going full German on him like crazy. Uh, the redemption play the banana just made kind of caught him up a bit in kind of caught him up in gold that he was down against. Uh, H2O, uh, but so far Kalori has been able to break the ankles of uh, Crow. Rorodon still down about 400 ish gold, but Simba, Simba's a mispositioning multiple times so far this game has caused quite a few problems here for the side of Lightning. It is 4 to 3, it's only an 800 gold lead, but we lost, we lost first dragon, we lost first grubs. Jarvan is bot side with 30 seconds to go on grubs. So that's probably gonna be a 6-0 trade. If we lose the next dragon, things are gonna get grim. And then if we lose Harold with six grubs, I mean, look, it is Jin Renekton and Ari, so it's not like set trundle. Uh, fuck, who can take turrets as an 80 carry? Uh, I don't know. Like Ez Ezreal, Ezreal. Like it's not Ezreal or Caitlyn, right? But still, objective pressure, very important. So far, uh, Lightning have fumbled during all the objectives. Okay, we are waiting on the reconnection here. Okay, looks like Simba has reconnected. So we should have a uh, like one-ish minute freeze. So hopefully it isn't too much. Uh, okay. So it looks like we've got the reconnection confirmation here for both uh, teams. Uh, should be unpausing real quick. Just making sure that Simba is A-OK -okay and he is not lagging too, too hard. We do have the spectator delay to keep in mind. So there's a few minutes where if there's like some absenteeism, it is normal. It is for competitive integrity here in the Mamago and any esports just in general. There will always be a three minutes. The current call being channeled by Tazy. 
And uh, it was probably just to clear the wave. Reg gonna get a plate against the Renekton. H2O forcing the flash on Crow. The charm into bandage toss. And uh, Crow just gonna die again. The fumbler. And that's a Mumu's uh, W. The like the sniffing sound or whatever. It's it's his tears, but it's uh. It's like a porcelain cup, right? So Jonpei and H2O having made their way here. Okay, the smite coming out early from H2O. Uh, Ridge gonna be alone. Going to Unstoppable Force away. The Lux Ultimate gonna force the Malphite Flash. So without the Malphite Flash or the Malphite Ult, we are in a pretty bad position here. Uh, Banana still probably tr wants to try something. Okay, uh, looks like we are going to be giving up all presents here at the Grubs here for Red Team. So it is going to be a 6-0 take. Jonpei uh, and Pl Gang doing a really good job at rotating. But Renekton still down uh, quite a bit, but the uh, the engage here... Oh, uh, Kalore is taking turret aggro, unfortunately. But Crow going to die to Jonpei. The Jonpei Lux really really clean Tazy has to be careful there's no flash there's a Jarvan we've got the Cataclysm we've got the bomb bomb one bomb and Sivir here going to take advantage of being able to get a few plays for herself we do have the teleport almost available here for both solo laners so I don't think it should be too big of a problem Kalora gonna be running down bot uh, and we land yet another we land another combo onto the Lux, uh, sorry, onto the, the Nico. H2O gonna look to find Rotodon. Going to land it, the Light Binding Lux Q Ultimate Wobble Combo. Wretch, uh, sorry, Crow is committing the Cataclysm onto Tacy. Uh, Banana's trying, we were going to kill Jonpei, but at the cost of our entire team, was that worth it? I don't think so. This Amumu is running away with the game. H2O putting in so much work, it's not even funny. Renekton has his Eclipse. Oh, Tazy in a little bit of trouble. The Pop Blossom could be invested at any point. We have to be careful. Nico can still assassinate a low HP Jin. Okay, so that's both objectives here for the side of um it's both objectives here. Uh, all four objectives here, sorry, for the side of Plume taken without contention. A 3.2k gold lead. We have no boots on the Nico, which could be a pretty big problem. Banana having his Sundered Sky. A Mumu with the Leandres. I want I want a Mumu to just go tanky now. Uh, Leandres more than enough full build in terms of like the item. And now he's got Merc's uh, Bramble. I'm really happy. Reg here, though... Uh, Eclipsing the gold lead to a thousand here in the top lane. However, uh, the bottom lane's down about 1400 gold, uh, the mid lane's on about 600, and there's even a gold lead in the support role. So, uh, we're putting in a lot of work. I really don't know why we're putting Tazy up against Reg, a, 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 a Malphite who's got like a million armor. I guess it's to give Tazy uh, easy farming access, but here we go. We're clearing, uh, looks like we're clearing vision around top side to be able to set up for the current herald we've rotated the renekton bot lane so that he could have a bit of a free uh some free time to farm as i'm pretty sure he could deal he definitely deal with the uh the lux banana and h2o gonna be fighting banana gonna lose the smite fight and the unstoppable, okay, but uh, now H2O a little greedy. Okay, Renekton going to find Rotodon, but Kalori going to assassinate Crow. The current call onto Simba, and it's not going to be enough. Okay. Okay, that's cool. There's like music during the, 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 the Ari ultimate? I did not know that. 
Okay, I'm just like, da 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 Yeah. All right, looks like we're going to be starting the Herald with no contention. Banana looks to be trying to make his way over there. Amumu is trying to come. Uh, he's, I'm gonna come. Um, but it looks like it might be over before Banana even makes it. Banana now is speeding towards the Herald, but Kalori is right there. The charm connects. And Banana takes about 30% of his HP for compensation. Tansy is soloing the Herald. Uh, but with the Herald Gaze, it is a little longer. H2O, gonna grab that eye real quick. But so far, Plume are set up for a great... Uh, for a great game one momentum win. Uh, John Bay here going to spot the pink ward. Banana clearing a pink ward in the dragon pit. Uh, Boomerang Blade not going to fluff up those floofy tails. But we've got the Rift Herald. And we've got six grubs. Are we thinking about dropping it? No? Okay, looks like we're thinking otherwise. I think Taisy and John Bay are just fine uh, bullying... Banana here going to land uh, the flag and drag, but Simba going to blunder the Nico, uh, the, tang the Tango Barbs. Uh, Crow going to get connected on by the Lux Wombo. Uh, the Deadly Flourish. The Shockwave going to be connected, forcing the Flash onto Jompei. But now Crow is very low. The current call is almost up. So we have to be a bit careful. Kalori has to be careful. Takes a double boomerang blade to the face. Uh, Malphite might just be able to take this turrets. Okay. Can we dodge the flag and drag? No. Okay. Unfortunately, Tazy. Casey going to ego check a little bit and got punished for it. Uh, does get a solo turret bounty for himself, but Malphite answers with a turret of himself. Uh, we did not give any money to Crow, however. Uh, so Jarvan going to be picking up more money. Now probably going to be working towards, I want to say, a Black Cleaver. Or a Sterix. We'll have to see. Uh, we've got some ward clearing by Kalori and Jompei. Are they going to be able to spot that last ward? No, Kalori is going to pick up the red buff, though. Uh, looks like there is no vision placed here for the side of lightning in uh, their blue side jungle. It is all clear. We are setting up defensive ward, offensive awards uh, to be able to prepare. Everyone is motioning towards this cloud soul point that we are at. Banana and crew going to be trying to clear out some wards. Reg getting caught here, but I mean, it's jump. It's just Jompei and H2O. Jompei gets caught, the flag and drag connects, and uh, the Luxel not gonna be enough. The Dominus comes out, we've got the current call, but the Pop Blossom, it's gonna connect, it's going to kill, and Tacy misclicking on that, we're gonna get the shutdown here. Uh, H2O trying, gets a really nice free man tantrum, and Tazy and Kalori should be able to finish the job. A nice job here by the side of Plume. Are you going to take care of the Baron, uh, sorry, of the Rift Herald? Going to use it to charge into the turret with the grub, so hopefully, maybe get it. Get this turret, and meanwhile, uncontested dragon soul point achieved here for the side of Plume. H2O performing phenomenally. Oh, Kalori going to be taking an extra turret shot, but going to get the solo turret gold here. Um, uh, Oriana getting an important kill on... What did Oriana get a kill on? Okay, she did not get a shutdown, but Oriana did kill someone. Okay, uh, the Jarvan, the Jarvan here killing Renekton for a slight bounty, but uh, what really helped is Agor got the shutdown on Malphite, and then Daisy got the shutdown on Jarvan and the double kill announcement here. Jompei getting caught here once again. Uh, sorry, Tazy getting caught here once again. The teleport being channeled by Reg here into the mid lane. We have to be careful. Simba gets caught. The clone of Simba gets caught, but here we are, four to three, laying siege 
Um, unfortunately, the minion wave gonna get cleared out here by Igor and Jompei, and it's going to force them back. Uh, we've got about 3,000 gold on a Mumu that we have to spend. Uh, Simba going to be pushing uh, Renekton off as they place a ward, but that ward is going to get cleared. Um, Igor is on a ward, but does not know about it. Uh, Amumu now with almost three items, really putting in the work. Kalori already has his merc. He got his mercs and his horizon focus off that fight. Jin nearing three items. Things are going pretty well here for the side of Plume. Uh, the only like redeeming side is that this Malphite is going to be pretty big. Unfortunately, without the Iceborne Gauntlet. Uh, tanks with no grubs have a hard time if you don't especially if you don't have demolish because Malphite is an initial shield user if you do not have demolish or any grubs okay h2o with a clean steal uh, just going to take bananas camp away now about 50 CS in the lead almost 2k gold ahead uh, is this a Baron angle? I mean, Oriana's bot lane, but she is, uh, she doesn't have her item. Oh, the bandage toss missing here on the, um, on the ground, but it's not really going to matter. There's nothing to fight for at this point. I mean, we're probably just looking to get his abyssal mask, uh, so he can get stuff done. Okay, Riz really trying to get that turret, but gonna be taking a lot of turret aggro. Uh, it goes down to half already. The slice, the dice, Malphite's going to slow him down with the W. The Ruthless Predator comes out. Reg, uh, gonna be able to just walk away. But here comes Crow, uh, teleporting in, thinking his teammate's gonna help him. H2O and Simba are here, but so is Kalori. And uh, Oriana gonna get sent back to the manufacturers. The defect has been found. We need Crow on one of his more prevalent champions. Okay, Simba gonna get rooted. Tazy walking into J4. H2O going to eat the Tango Barbs though. Black Cleaver now done here for Renekton. Abyssal Mask was finished by... Um, by uh, Malphite. An interesting choice of item second. I would have. Uh... Oh, he went uh, Mercury Treads over. Okay. Okay, the charm gonna land into Deadly Flourish. Jump Pay Wombo. Uh, we're gonna flag and drag over the wall and take a lot of damage. And the fourth shot on the ultimate going to kill Banana. Ooh, banana. The alt chat banter coming out from Bananas. Surprised that he got. Okay, the unstoppable force forcing the flash, but Kalori has his ultimate. Okay, the Q for Malphite. The charm gonna be dodged out of the way, but the light binding gonna pick up. Okay, Ruthless Predator, Lux ult, and Kalori gonna get yet another kill. H2O, gonna miss the bandage toss. But we have two items on Sivir now, that's good. Oriana getting some good pushing in, but that's gonna be a top lane inner turret given for essentially three. And we lost the Malphite Flash. Malphite ult is about a minute-ish cooldown, but the Malphite Flash is five minutes. Uh, Cloud Soul is on the line here. Kalore and Agor are gonna have their recalls interrupted, but uh, Simba not gonna land the Tangle Barbs. Uh, instead, just going to assassinate, going to outplay Simba with the Flash, gets the Tantrum, just kills him. H2O. Uh, oh, Rotodon almost getting hit by that. Tazy does need a little bit of healing, but it looks like it's going to be an uncontested Cloud Soul here. Crow going to maybe try. Um, but, ooh, okay. Kalori taking some damage. Okay. Okay, the Flash going to dodge the uh, Unstoppable Force. Cloud Soul going to be achieved here. Agor going to be pushing out the bot lane. And so far, 
we are putting a ton of pressure against uh we're putting up a ton of pressure here against lightning all right we've got about two thousand gold here to spend on the amumu i think he's clearing his two camps and then he's gonna go by my guess are like abyssal mask plus uh like a randuin's omen or something like that just at this point it's gonna be like an immortal king Ari almost has her third item rapid fire finished here for uh jin we've got the abyssal mask and now we're going jack show here on a mumu uh we're almost done the uh storm surge here for lux which is gonna be big two two big two big damage items on lux john pays lux has been incredible this game but the synergy when they play on blue side it just feels pretty damn good outside of their match against rivals every game that i've cast here from plume blue side has been fantastic it's the red side that we need some work on but every team needs to work on winning red side because that's like the hardest that's the harder thing to do in competitive is being able it's it's cool to have to, to have a good first pick but to have good answers to uh, uh, your opponent's first picks that's what really matters deadly flourish not going to connect onto simba they would have probably killed him uh given the fact that we had lux alt and the curtain call h2o here going to find rotodon the lux alt going to be baited we're going to get a two-man thing forcing the flash here on rotodon banana uh going to cataclysm in uh the the, the re-engage here by the side of lightning is gonna pop off agor is doing what he can simba almost goes down agor's about to die the boomerang's gonna kill him what a fumble here can we redeem it h2o able to get away the cloud soul but the flag and drag is it gonna be enough Okay, Kalori almost finding a redemption, but unfortunately, Jompei and Tazy just, you know, letting the mouth fight wombo their asses. And then the J4 to come in. Uh, we just don't have that much damage here. We've got about 400 gold here. Okay, Ari gonna be able to defend the turret, though, um, because Sivir drew aggro with the W. Uh, we now almost have the Jack Show. Uh, Jarvan gonna get caught on a ward, uh, forced the EQ away, the Steric's gonna get procced. Here, Renekton almost has, uh, okay, Ridge gonna get caught, uh, but does not have the ult, does not have the flash, just going to die, the clone going to see them, and Jompei gonna get some good damage now onto Simba. We are clearing defensive wards here. And looks like it is a barren start. We've got the Spectre's Cow and the Blinding Jewel coming in here for the side of Lightning. But uh, it's just it's Banana against the world. Simba and Crow are trying to make it. But uh, Crow going to get tagged up. And uh, yeah, Kalori just going to assassinate people. As Simba going to get murdered. And it's Tazy and... Yeah, it's Tazy and Banana... Uh, sorry, Tazy and uh, H2O able to do. The Cataclysm comes in, but the Jarvan doesn't do enough damage at this point of the game. Unfortunately, not that far ahead. And the Renekton is able to withstand the combo, even the Lux. We now basically... Okay, so we did not finish the Seekers because we haven't used it yet. So it looks like Kalori just going to be opting to get a uh, Rabidon's Death Cap first. Uh, looking for picks here uh we have two minutes before elder but that's gonna be okay kalori gonna be putting some work the vision from the horizon focus uh, reveals the sivir uh shows that there's no one near her but they choose to call it off get the mid inner here and uh yeah for now looks like tazy might be going for a guardian angel we've got a recall here from kalori that's more than likely a death cap Yep, that is the death cap. Now we've got three and a half really powerful items. Do note though, Oriana still has, uh, she also has three items. Not too, too far uh, behind. Uh, 2k behind, yeah. But uh, Oriana's putting in some work. Unfortunately, this uh, Sivir Nico, uh, three and nine. Um, they have a worse KDA combined than um, Kalori does. Glory is 9 and 2 with 10 assists, don't forget.
But yeah, now nah, here we are. The Jack Show picked up for Mumu Infinity Edge and uh, so Infinity Edge and Sterics picked up here for the side of Plume. We've also got the Keenic and uh, Infinity Edge, Sterics. You know, sorry, Infinity Edge and Koenig picked up here for the side of Lightning, and we've got Sterix, uh, Sterix, Jack Show picked up here for the side of um, Plume. Hello, Mr. Mamago, how are you doing this fine evening? Where game number one, H2O goes in, gets a nice bandage toss, the curse of the sand mummy comes out, the curtain call another bandage toss, Rotodon's in trouble, the flash from H2O, Crow is isolated, they're gonna find him, he gets annihilated, a three man shark whip, but it's not enough. Oh, the blue buff is trying to regen, oh, oh, okay, the aggro resets. But it looks like we're going to be able to take this dragon and the elder. Going to be going over to Plume in game number one. A disastrous team fight here from the side of Lightning. The wallet gap at this point is so big that it just doesn't matter. Even, even a fantastic shockwave isn't enough to change the tide of the battle. Unfortunately, uh, the mid... And AD carry here for the side of Lightning seem to be struggling a tiny bit tonight. Simba does have to be careful. Jonpei's Lux have, has been a killer. Um, is he going to take a turret shot? Trying to get some poke onto the turret. Uh, the Orianna shield is pretty decently big at this point in the game. But I think if we see a five-man group up, we'll probably just see that we're going to be ending the game. A huge wave top lane threatening the turret's HP. Um, well, it looks like we are trying to sync the waves up. Jonpei going to clear the caster minions here. Whiff is the Lucent Singularity. The Tango Barb's not going to find anyone. Uh, Scribe's Bloom going to be popped to show that the Jarvan is still topside. Renekton getting solo pressure on this top lane. Uh, Kalori going in, has the Elder. We've gotta be careful. The Hourglass procced here. We've gotta get out, but the Pop Blossom is gonna clip his tail. However, the team fight's not done yet. We get the middle in him turret. And will we get more out of this? We've traded one for one. The mid laners are both dead. But it looks like that bottom in hip turret is not going to be lasting long. H2O looking for an angle. Still has the curse of the sad mummy. Are we going to see a commit? The unstoppable force is on cooldown. We only have the cataclysm left here. We really want this in hip, but we're starting to take a lot of damage. I think I think it's best to just call it off, Plume. Okay, four items now on Ari. Um, unfortunately. For Kalori, he got clipped by the very edge of the um, by the very edge of the pop blossom, and because Nico built damage, uh, Kalori was on 200 HP. It was enough to murder him. Uh, looks like we are probably going Void Staff or Crypt Bloom here for Kalori as his last item. Could also be going Cosmic Drive or something. I really don't know, but I think we need a bit of pen. There's a lot of magic resists starting to stack up here on the side of Lightning. But we got four dragons, we got Elder, we got Baron. Uh, we got a lot of things. The GA coming in here for Tazy makes sense. He is getting focused quite a bit. Um, but now we have the Last Whisper, the Amumu uh, working towards, I think, a Canic Rookern. Uh, or, and I think, uh, Sunder Sky maybe for Renekton, if that's what, uh, Tunneler builds out of. Uh, there's a lot of items that build out of a Tunneler, so we'll have to see when we get a little later. Uh, Jonpei, uh, probably looking towards getting a Shadow Flame as his last item this game. And, uh, on, on a bright note, I mean, Malphite's almost four items, so there's that, yeah. We're trying here on the side of lightning, but we really need that that team fight cohesion. We drafted a team fighting team comp and We are just getting oh the Bandage toss on the Simba. We're gonna find him again the Lux ultimate the pop blossoms coming out But Simba going to be taken down to like sub 100 HP almost goes down Things are getting dangerous here, uh, Reg, uh, not gonna be taking much damage from the one AP item, Amumu. Uh, the Deadly Flourish going to root up, 
Uh, Reg, but I mean, okay, we, we've popped the Dominus. The Ruthless Predator comes in. The charm's gonna go wide. The, but the Amumu finds Crow once again. The curtain call into Luxalt is not gonna connect. Amumu is going to evaporate. Kalore is not here. Oh! Jope going to find a Q onto, uh, going to find a Q onto the Oriana, but unfortunately, Tazy is going to die not before taking down um not before taking down people we have the re ultimate here the resets are coming in and banana has to be careful the the charm back in renekton's putting in a lot of work and that's the ace kalore saving his team what a wonderful performance here. 14, 3, 10, 243 CS. And it looks like that might be the end of the game. We've got six scrubs. We've got double super minions. Let's try to go. We've got six scrubs. Go, go, go. Hit the minions. Hit the turret. Let's go. And the game. Plume, you got this. There's seven, seven seconds on Crow, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Game one's going to go over to DH Plume. A fantastic team fight recovery here. By the side of Kalore. Game one win. Going over to our boys in blue. That was a close one. That, that last team fight was close. The game was not close at all. But that last team fight, oh man, it had me quivering in my boots. Um, but yeah, let me just update the scoreboard real quick. All right, are we going to see a best of three tonight or two best of ones? We'll have to find out. It looks like um, we have not decided on side selection yet. So we are, I, I believe we are going to be putting Plume on blue, on, on red side. I think, I think blue side is just too strong at this point in the meta to just give it up. If you give it up, you better have some counter picks that work. I mean, the Malphite worked decently well, um, but um, the rest of the team comp didn't have that synergy. But uh, I mean, H2O is a Mumu, definitely something that people got to start respecting because he'll blind pick it if he has to. And he's really good on it. Let me get the playlist back up and running for you guys. Okay, uh, Lightning going to be taking blue side. So now we'll be able to see if Plume has adapted a winning, uh, a winning, a winning momentum going onto the red side, uh, as it is very hard for a lot of teams to converge uh, blue side wins into red side wins. But if they do, it'll be a quick two zero. Ah, notes to take from the last game. Um, I mean, the synergy between Kalori, H2O, and Jompei is insane. When they're on these champions that have the pick ability, like the, the ability to just pick people off, you really have to pay some respect to the amount of synergized teamwork that they have together. Because um, they put in a lot of work. So... Uh, we're going to see the draft pretty soon when it is created, so give or take a few minutes, and we'll be in champ select, ladies and gentlemen. Just wait. Just waiting on the link to be dropped. How did we enjoy that game number one? Also, do we like the new position of the camera for the casting? Like, it's, it stays the same on the screen or whatever, but the perspective's changed, so I'm just looking, uh, just looking for some feedback. There's some active viewers uh, that want to pitch in here. Um... So I think it looks much better, but I don't know. I'd rather go with what people prefer than what I prefer. At least in terms of because it's for their enjoyment. Me, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really change much here on my side. Uh, so we got Super Week this Sunday for Division Four, Two, and I believe if the Division Five has one, they they they'd also have it. But uh, playoffs, I believe, are starting soon for Division 3. So, we'll have to see. Uh, I am uh, not going to be here on the weekend of the uh, 7th. 
But I might be there on a Sunday if there's a playoff game for that or whatever. But uh, that Saturday, I will not be there. A Saturday, I, I don't normally cast on Saturdays anyways. It's my... Uh, it's a day off I kind of like to have. I, I'll cast if I have to, but... Um, here we have the players are placing themselves. We should get the draft link relatively quickly. And we will be getting into Champ Select very soon. The streaming Super Week? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm streaming the H Plumes Super Week run, uh, Rivals, uh, this uh, well, on the 1st of December. Yeah. Oh, looks like we've swapped over to Draft Lull instead of the Pro Draft. Uh, let me just make sure that my uh, thing is set up for it. Okay, it is. Cool. All right. Baba Booey. Yeah. So, I got to cast at least one Rivals game for Super Week. If it was if it was done over more than the course of a single day, I could uh, maybe get uh, multiple uh, teams casted over the course. But everything's done in a single day. And Division 2 and Division 4 are uh playing uh at the same time so unfortunately uh i uh, when i had made an advert uh plume is the first uh division four or two team that reached out so i uh i said i'd uh, do their super week run but i'm looking forward to casting your guys's game on sunday Uh, because we are on draft lull, let me just move my camera back here into the middle. Oops. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, Jompe, I, I know your Lux is good. Hey, congrats, Amanda, on getting your emotes. Uh, if you guys have been watching for about an hour, uh, since I said I fixed the thing, you should be able to claim your isn't worth the effort arcane emote. I don't know if it's the same for everyone. I don't know if it's a random one, but it probably is. Uh, but I believe it's a... Uh, is it Jin making a face? No. Actually, I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't been able to watch arcane. I was supposed to do a watch party with some friends, but I was, uh, I was left behind, let's just say that much. So I never took the time to watch arcane. So I don't know about any of the arcane characters here. But yeah. yeah, if you check, uh, I think your like drop section, if you were signed in, you should be able to get your uh, your drop uh, from the uh, League of Legends Arcane campaign. Oh, jump in. I didn't know you were, um, I didn't know you were partnered on, uh, on Twitch. Okay. All right. Hey, both of you having emotes. Okay. That means I gotta get my shit together. We gotta get some wholesome sanctum emotes. Uh, the sooner I can change my name, the sooner I can hit affiliate. Alright, looks like both teams are ready for the draft. We are starting. Nice, nice. We'll keep up the good work, Jompe. I'll let you get back to your drafting. As we get into the, uh, as we get into champion select. And good luck Amanda on your scrim. Thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure to have you in the stream. Check my leak. Okay, both are ready, but the draft hasn't started here. Hi, see, so there was a little bit of technical difficulties. So we should have the champion select up and running very, very shortly. Um, so look forward to it. <laughs> it's 
some obscenities. But uh, yeah, we are starting the game two drop very shortly here. Uh, Plume took game one in a sweeping fashion with a very clutch performance by Kalori. We'll have to see if his Ari gets pinched um, this game. Um, often, uh, I do see a lot of teams just leave the, the Ari open and then things kind of go to shit. Ari is a really good playmaker and when you put it on a mechanically talented player, um, Things can go bad pretty quickly. All right, so here our first ban here for the side of lightning is going to be the Huey. Uh, sorry, it's going to be the uh, Yon taken away from Kalori. We're going to be looking at taking away the Huey here from Crow. Haven't locked it in yet. But it is a good champion and it is normally something that people would play into Ari. Looks like uh, Lightning are tired of H2O's uh, Mumu. Uh, it was really, really, it was sniping Rotodon and Crow like crazy. Uh, but now we'll have to see what else H2O has in his bag of tricks. We've seen the Diana, we've seen the Maokai and some other things, but the Amumu really has been the highlight. Skarner here taken away from Banana. Now getting into the last man on first rotation, what first pick do Ninetale Fox Lightning have in mind? Okay, the Ari gonna be taken away. Okay, okay. Are we going to keep the Syndra ban here? No, we're going to be banning a Ash away here from Erotodon. So the Jinx first pick, okay, that is a strong AD carry. We'll have to see if Rotodon can be given some room to uh, do some auto attack and some spacing. Fortunately, Rotodon didn't really have much peel last game. Ed Oriana and Malphite with Jarvan Nico, but unfortunately, Rotodon was often the first one dead in a team fight. Here, what is the uh, first two pickups here for the side of Plume? Oh no. Oh no, not this Nemesis Vigar. Okay, so Kalari gonna be picking up Vigar. We'll have to see if we're going like Fimble, Shirelia, Rabadons, or if we're going a more centric build. But we'll have to see here a solid mid to late game mage that can play fairly safely. Not the typical kind of champion you expect Kalori to play compared to like the things of his Yon, his Ari, and we're gonna be locking in Gragas. And it's more than likely gonna be H2's Gragas. I don't think I've seen Agor play Gragas, and on red side, I don't think you'd want to just throw both your solo laners into the well of being counterpicked for free. But we'll have to see what uh, Lightning pair up with this Jinx here in the end of their first rotation. The Syndra not being banned means that Crow has access to it. Uh, so we might have to see a more defensive Vigar build to be able to survive the early game. What's really important here on Vigar is going to be a, uh, to see how well he can stack. Because when you go to the defensive Vigar build, it's you do a lot less damage. But you're basically unkillable. He's got the baby cage and like the Fimble Winter and stuff. But we'll have to see. Okay, so we've got two potential mid to late game hyper carries here for the side of uh, Lightning. We're going to be pairing them with an AP jungler. Okay, okay. We've got the AP jungler to play versus this Gragas. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see the bombshell cannonball Gragas that we normally see, the Turbo La Bomba, or if we're going to see like some kind of like Fimble Winter variant. Uh, tank variant that we've seen uh, during Super Week and stuff. But Lilia, Syndra, Jinx, okay, three champions that scale very well into the late game. It is Jompe's. Is it Jompe or Taisy's Viger? Okay. Uh, if you're connected, uh, you should be able to check your drop inventory in your Twitch settings, and it should be there if you've been connected for more than an hour. At least that's 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 all I see here. Uh, going to the bans for the second rotation, we're going to be banning away Morgana and Mordekaiser. Last ban coming in here from Plumes going to be Melio. Okay, just taking out the good enchanters. I'm surprised Lulu not being banned, unless maybe this is a secret tech. 
So I think this is going to be Tazy's Vigar. Okay, and we've got the Gragas Yasuo in the mid lane. Makes it very, very dangerous here for um, the Syndra at level 6. Agor going to be picking up... Okay, so we are literally just dropping a Yasuo composition. I have to see what the support here is. Unless Jonpei is flexing the Gragas support, but I, I really don't think so. Then again, uh, I know Kalore has explored Yasuo. So I'm almost certain it's Yasuo mid. This isn't like a G2 situation where it's a blind pick Yasuo top and they're going to pick Nar into it. Okay, so we are picking Poppy here as the support or the top. It's not clear yet. I mean, it doesn't feel like it does much into Malphite because Poppy is strictly just physical damage. Um, so unfortunately, a champion that just naturally gets so much armor. Uh, if anything, Hobbit, maybe try refreshing your Twitch browser. Um... If nothing else works. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be Poppy support, set top, uh, Cinder mid with uh, Jinx 80 carry. Hey, you're welcome, Hobbit. Ah, yo, welcome, Derp. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Wait, wait, you speak French? What the hell, Derp? I thought you were American. I was, how do you know French? I'm so confused. Okay, so it's Viger supports, Smolder AD carry, Yasuo min, Malphite top, Gragas jungle. Alrighty. Uh, crazy. Okay, this is a wild. This is the G2 style draft that I love to see. We're going to be getting into champ select soon. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm, my mind is blown. Here, from the side of uh, Plume. Uh, and uh, yeah, just, uh, yep. I've, if it works, it's going to be a fast 2-0. Uh, this composition is disgusting. And when it gets going, it gets going. All right, let's turn off the draft. I hope this is close enough. I don't know if it is, but uh, we'll have to see. I don't know why I have a button here on the side. Okay. Okay, no max volume. All right. All right, here we go. We are getting into the champion select. Reminder that there's about five minutes from now to the time where we get into uh, the game. So if you need to get a snack, a drink, refreshment, washroom, whatever, please do so now so you don't miss out on any of the action. We're going to be getting into the game. Game number two of this Division 4 match between DH Plume versus Nantel Fox Lightning. Alrighty, here we go. Some very, some very, very interesting lane uh, assignments here for the side of Plume. Um, let's see if this counter pick uh, set is going to work out for Reg. He had the advantage over Agor in game number one, uh, playing into the uh, playing into the Renekton. Uh, but Sintra might have a little bit more of a struggle against Yasuo. I don't, I think Lilia, uh, like, diffs the, um, Gragas in terms of clear speed. But we'll have to see how H2O plays. He's a hyper-aggressive jungler and is always looking for plays. So I wouldn't be surprised if First Blood is, is involves him with an E-Flash. Like, the Flash Body Slam. Um... But let's see it. Okay, so Tazy and Jonpei are going to be playing more of like on the back burner kind of things. But with Smolder, Vagar against Jinx, Poppy. Uh, I mean, it's it's all down to Simba to find the plays onto Tazy and or if he goes to Rome and stuff. Uh, Vigar is really good at punishing an isolated carry though. So we'll have to see. This is my first time I'm seeing Jonpei here. 
uh, play the Vigar, but if he plays the Vigar as well as he plays the Lux, I'm really, really not worried. Here we go. We're about to get into the game. Four minutes until we do start. Uh, do we have any live chatters for a prediction on how this game's going to go? Um, given the giraffes, if Plume get off to a good start, I think Plume just take it. But in a fight where Rotodon is untouched and gets access to resets with takedowns and stuff, I think the Jinx is going to hard smurf this game. If if, if Rotodon is given the peel necessary. Uh, with Poppy, Lilia, set, uh, it should be easy to give peel to this Jinx, but we'll have to see the Simba's execution and positioning here in game number one was pretty poor. Maybe, maybe he had the nerves. So here we are, three minutes until the spectator delay. We got that gloomy galleon uh, shipyard theme going. And we'll have to see who gets the better of who. Um, the Also, the early fumble in the jungle. Uh, one team will win, one team will lose. Yeah, damn, derp. I couldn't have said so better myself. Damn, that is an insane prediction. I don't think I got anything to top that. But uh, to get on, hopefully Banana is going to have an easier uh, early game. Uh, he had spent about a minute in the blue side tribush. Uh, just naturally waiting for a gank opportunity, but one never rose up, so he he kind of just missed his mark and was behind at least a few camps for most of the game, which led into a pretty big snowball of gold loss here in the jungle. Um, but with Lilia, she's got really fast clear, really good damage, good sustain. So we'll have to see if the Lilia is able to out jungle the Gragas, because normally when you're playing these. Uh, farming CEO style champions like Lilia, Shavana, Udyr, um, and other champions that kind of just want to like farm all game. It's really important that uh, if you do take the extra time to farm by giving up a few objectives, that when you do show up, like you make your first big appearance, that it matters. Because if it doesn't, uh, your team's just going to lose so much momentum. But I think Lilia, well... I think I think the top side for Plume is more winnable, but Dragon Fights might be a little harder here for the side of Plume. It's really gonna depend how Tazy and Kalori can uh, space themselves in team fights because we have so many ways of proccing the Yasuo last breath, and we'll have to see if Jinx is the one that gets Yasuo ulted. Uh, it might just be Jover, but we'll have to see. So how you doing, Derp? Feels like it's been a while. Hopefully you're enjoying the League of Legends stream. I know, I know not a lot of people play League of Legends, but hey, it's funner to watch than it is to play on most occasions. So uh, we are hitting the 30 second mark. That means we are going to pause the playlist as we get into the game. And remember, if you are watching for at least an hour and are connected to your Twitch account, you will be able to redeem the Arcane Isn't Even Worth the Time emote uh, from the League of Legends Arcane campaign. So look forward to it if that's what you are interested in, but we are getting into the game. Soon my face will be like, I, I won't look like Harvey Two-Face anymore, because there will be light. Life will be given unto my face. The shadows will be retreated. There you go. All right, so we got Prestige, Star Guardian, Central, Prestige, Battle Cat, Jinx, Lolly, Puppy, uh, Nightbringer, Lilia, Prestige, Obsidian, Dragon, Set, Dark Star, Malphite, High Noon, Gragas, Genesis, Nightbringer, Yasuo, Vanilla, Smolder, and King Beegar here Whew. in this game. I try to always make it a challenge to say all the skin names before we get into the game. And I did it. And I had to, I had to pronounce four Prestiges, technically, because the Genesis, Nightbringer, Yasuo is a Prestige version of Nightbringer, Yasuo. Uh, but interested in seeing how these team comps work out. The Heinen Gragas is a champion skin that I really, really like. The animations are cool, but fortunately, uh, I only I think I have Arctic Ops or Scuba Gragas. I uh, do not have the super cool uh, Gragas skins. Here we are. We are going to be getting into the game very shortly. It's live audio. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to see a wonderful game to end this uh, Tuesday night. Are we Tuesday? Are we Tuesday or are we Wednesday? Someone know in the chat for Tuesday or Wednesday? I forget. Anyway.
anyways, it's the 20th of November, so it'll end the 20th of November on a good note. Here we go. We're in game. We've got Ark and Comet versus Conqueror. Conqueror versus Do uh, Dark Harvest. Fleet Footwork versus Electric Gear. Lethal Temple versus Fleet Footwork. And Comet versus Halo Blades. The Poppy looking to play aggressively. So it is down to Simba to find these plays here for the bot lane. Looks like we've got standard 5 point on both teams uh, for this early uh, part of the game. Chasey going to drop a ward. Uh, Jompe dropping a ward. I wonder if Jompe is going to swap out for a uh, sweeping trinket. Um, but so far, we've got Gragas in the mid lane. So normally, the junglers are in the mid lane. Uh, just to not show what path they are starting. Uh, there are no wards that have been invested here for the side of Lightning yet. <laughs> uh, it's Smolder quotes. It's, um, uh, it's ironic that Smolder's character designer got fired, technically, like, as Smolder got released. So, um... It was just it's an ironic moment. But layoffs at right are pretty meta. So we'll have to see. Here looks like okay, Agor going to find Reg. We are going to get a we get a mana flow band stack. That is worth. Okay. Looks like we've got a double chicken start for the junglers. Okay, Crow gonna try and get uh, early pressure here onto this Yasuo. Okay, a lot of damage onto Crow in this level one. The Sweeping Blade gonna be putting in a lot of work. The Jinx, uh, Fishbones, gonna be securing that triple minion kill early. Um, Tacey gonna be looking to try and hit that 25 as soon as he can. And Jope just gonna try and be a nuisance with his stacks of phenomenal evil. Okay, uh, once we get access to the Windwall, we'll be able to do some pretty cool stuff with Yasuo, like canceling the pushback. Uh, Agor hasn't touched the wave yet, which is a little worrying, but it's gonna be crashed into, uh, okay. Okay, uh, well, Malphite early farming always gonna be a little bit of an issue. The Skullcracker gonna come in. Uh, Haymaker gonna do a bit of damage. The Achui going to tag the Jinx. Oh, Taisy going to miss that stack early. Might uh, do stuff. But here we go. Yasuo putting the moves on Syndra early. It only gets worse. And a nice combo showing that while Syndra can put her Q behind Yasuo, she cannot use the command to stun Yasuo if the wall is in front of her. So like, you can use your E on Syndra, but if the wind wall is like, okay, so like Syndra is like here and the wind wall is here, if she uses a command that would push the stun past the wall, it, it won't push the balls. Okay, uh, a Cheetah Recall here by Ridge is what Agor did last game. The Skullcrack are gonna be coming out. The Lilia going to find uh, the Malphite. Uh, the Bowling Ball going to land. Haymaker gonna be dodged away by the Flash. Uh, yo, Pietro, uh, I, uh, I'm not an affiliate yet, but I should be soon. I uh, just right now, I don't have... Um, my uh my my channel name is like my my name for the taxes is not luca so i can't um i can't um i can't finish the tax interview part to become an affiliate but once i can change it probably in like i think uh a few weeks i should be able to fix that but no worries we are we, we are actively working on that issue it's just i uh i messaged twitch and there's uh, nothing they can do early about it I don't know why I changed both the channel name and like the account name. Yo, how you doing, Prant? 
Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. I know. Uh, I have uh, Pietro. I have the uh, I have the onboarding ready. So just for the for the tax interview thing or whatever, like the um, like the tax paperwork. I I, I can't complete it because my name would be the Fallen Sanctum, and I'm just. Uh, I always update my Twitter prompt. You know it every day. There's some new goodies that go up on my awesome Twitter. Do check at your own risk, of course, but always quality artwork. But yeah, uh, I should, uh, I, I'm going to look into it a little bit later, uh, Pietro, but I, I should be able to complete it soon. I'm going to have one of my friends help me with it just to make sure I do it correctly. Um, here we are uh, with uh, Yasuo having a bit of a lead. Uh, Syndra trying to save as much mana as she can, but a level 6 here for Kalori early going to be a problem. Uh, the Steel Temp is going to run out, but H2O is here, has the Flash, has the Body Slam. And we'll have to see if it's enough. If Pro walks up too much, might have to lose the Flash. Okay, the last breath invested. The Flash invested by Kalori. Oh, and he is going to get executed. That is wonderful. We also have rotated the Malphite bot lane to play against the Jinx while we are holding uh, Taisy in the top lane to play versus the set. Hello, Weedo. Welcome to the stream. All right. A good early game performance here for the side of... Uh, Plume, we'll have to see if they're able to keep up the pressure. Uh, we've got the, uh, okay, uh, H2O gonna get stunned up into the wall, gonna get assassinated by Banana. Um, I, I don't need that, we know. There you go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, here we go. We have a little bit of a brawl here in the mid lane. Glory, unfortunately, gonna get stunned out of his sweeping blade. Uh, but so far, um, there is a pretty massive go a farm lead here by. Uh, Banana over uh, H2O. Oh, the... Uh, the okay, Kalar going to be investing the win wall here. Not too sure why. We're probably looking at making a play onto the Jinx. We do have the Unstoppable Force. If the Jinx... Okay, the Jinx is going to be found. And Rotodon going to be assassinated. I did say that was a win condition of uh, this uh, team. If they can get to Rotodon safely. Okay, we're just stacking here on Reg. He's not having as much of a fun time as he could have. Uh... And I think they do want to lane swap to put the set bot lane. Uh, so that way we can. Uh, so that way we can keep the momentum because uh, the set isn't having any fun against the Smolder and the Viger. Looks like we are going Rod of Ages first. Very interesting choice. I mean, uh, there is a limited amount of money here in the support role. H2O hitting level 6. I'm going to be clearing uh, this out. But we traded the three grubs for Dragon. Agor now in the top lane to fight... Uh, wrote it on again. Gonna get a nice Arcane Comet onto the Jinx. The Malphite is pretty safe from the Poppy and the Jinx. Shouldn't have much to worry about. Uh, okay, H2O unfortunately going to miss the Explosive Cask. Um, yeah. You see the Jinx Rocket's not really able to break the Malphite passive.
Okay, Igor uh, gonna be able to defend his turn plating pretty well. We've got Tazy fighting Reg with Jompei. Okay, the Haymaker gonna be invested. Uh, Lily is going to find... Uh, Okay, Super Mega Death Rocket, Ignite, and the Lilia Burn. Uh, is it going to be enough? No, it's not. Uh, Reg going to be taking a lot of poke damage here. Uh, Agor, living within an inch of his life, has to be careful. The Face Breaker not going to connect. Sorry. Uh, ham the Poppy Ultimate just going to save the Malphites? Okay, interesting choice. We we take a plate and we walk away. Uh, Kalora is rotating top. To make sure that uh, second plate does not get denied. Okay, we almost have a uh, Blade of the Ruin King here for Kalori. About a thousand gold off. Looks like we are going Lich Bane here. Banana going to be spotted starting the grubs. Jompe here going to land the stun onto Crow. Mom's gonna be channeled to find Crow. Uh, the stun, Force of Will, uh, sorry, the uh, Force of Will going to be invested on Jompei. The explosive cask onto Banana. Banana takes about 200 damage here. Um, it looks like, okay, we still have the last breath, but we're running out of ways to start a team fight here by H2O. The Malphite is bot lane, but we are able to chase Banana. Okay, Banana going to invest a flash. The last breath invested. Okay, Kalori. Going to get the shutdown, but Agor here going to be in a bit of trouble. The Face Breaker invested here. Uh, the Super Mega Death Rocket going to land on H2O. Going to put them all low. And we have to be careful. Tazy here found. Uh, flashes, fails to flash over the wall, unfortunate. Um, the Haymaker invested here by Reg, but we'll have to see if it's enough. Uh, and yeah, it's a two. Uh, that was a, a two for one. We killed Lilia, but now we've given over the grubs. Oh, uh, we got, we managed to take one grub. Okay, so we'll be able to deny the double uh void grub buff uh here on the side of plume dragons coming up soon and yeah so it's about a thousand gold up but uh, i mean set is up 1500 gold uh lilia up about 900 so still a decent gold lead uh, and 600 gold up for poppy and here a decent gold lead here for lightning heading into the second dragon the infernal dragon has already spawned we sent yasuo to deal with the set because merc Treads, uh, don't really do much against yasuo no his uh, only crowd control is an aga we've got the haymaker invested simba going to put a pink ward into the dragon pit seeing that they have a pink ward here from the side of blue and we are all converging here onto the uh the bot side of the map to get to the uh to get to the uh to get to the dragon area okay we got jump pay throwing down the baby cage we're not gonna find anything the zap of gets thrown into nowhere first access to the scuttle crab given here to lightning um the smite gonna be invested the force of will uh gragas gonna be taken pretty low but we have agor here and with Kalori, Mom going to be channeled to find Crow. Uh, but the uh, the plant, sorry, the honey, the, the, the honey fruit going to slow down Malphite. Uh, we've got Banana. The last breath going to be invested onto Rotodon and Simba. We have to be careful. Simba going to kill, uh, going to kill Agar. Uh, and uh, the first turrets not yet taken by uh, Reg, but now it's taken and he's putting in pressure, but it looks like we're going to be giving this Drake up. We lost the Lilia. Yeah, we lost we lost the Lilia. And yeah, that's it. We just lost the Lilia for 
It was, yeah, it was three to four. So wait, who'd we lose? Oh yeah, Igor died. Who else died? Tazy? No, Tazy died top lane. Hey, okay, it was, it was another one for one. Okay, but Kalori putting in a lot of work here. Now about 1200 gold in the lead. Uh, gonna be able to deal with this, uh, Viger now has his Rod of Ages, which is honestly really big for Jompe. Uh, we don't know how much effort this, uh, Viger is gonna put in, uh, but he's gonna be a pretty chunky member. Normally, uh, AP supports are pretty squishy, uh, but Malphite down 2200-ish gold. Gonna feel a little bad. Let's check in on Tazy's stack numbers. Tazy has about 102 stacks. Uh, so we should be hitting the mark around the 27, 27 to 30 minutes, uh, using Mom to clear out the wave. Uh, Reg, uh, does have the Stride Breaker and finish this call, so that's another 400, uh, gold, uh, investment achieved here. Um, almost 3,000 gold in the lead against the Malphite. We're definitely, uh, Reg is definitely gonna have to put in the work of this game, uh, if he wants to uh to get stuff done tazy nearing the 125 stack mark so we'll have to see if uh he's able to um to get his uh the the, the bouncing fireball upgrade pretty soon joan pay gonna clear out a few wards h2o gonna be spotted by banana on a ward that's contention for the blue buff and who's gonna Okay, H2O is gonna get it. Explosive cast invested, but Crow is just going to assassinate H2O. H2O a lot, uh, a lot squishier than he was last game on the Amumu. And so unfortunately, uh, this gives a little bit of money to Crow to get back into the game. As he's been having a little bit of a struggle against, um, against Kalori. Uh, Facecracker, uh, going to be invested, but now that, uh, Igor has, uh, now that Agor has uh, some armor, uh, it takes a lot less damage. Uh, looks like we are going to be giving up the contest uh, here for the Rift Herald. I don't think it is worth fighting. Plume is down quite a bit of gold. And we don't want... The mom going to be used as a last second hold. Blast Cone over the wall here by Reg. Trying to find an angle but could not find it. Okay, we are nearing the 125 here for Tazy. We are not there yet. The Rift Herald invested mids. Okay, Lilia gonna get the charge in. Okay. Okay. Um, the Dreaming Dust marked onto Gragas. Not gonna be used for the sleepy go bye bye. Uh, Tazy looking forward to finishing his Monomune. Are gonna be really important and the 125 just picked up here by tazy we are 100 stacks till the execute is online we'll have to see uh how they can accelerate his stack game let's check it on viger see how much ap viger has a viger has 68 stacks 155 ap with a single item i mean that's not bad for support viger um He's not going to be doing massive amounts of damage, but he's moderately tanky with the use of uh, the with the use of the rod of ages. Let's see how much HP does this Viger have as 1900 HP to give you uh, a comparison he has 400 more HP than his jungler right now so Sunfire gave finish here from Alpha is big we finish uh, we are working towards uh, I think the boots here for Jinx then into infinity edge uh, Locket finish for Poppy is going to be big and the boots have been upgraded so the Poppy will always be running at the speed of sound out of combat and going to be helpful to try and find these picks. Looks like we are going Immortal Shield Bow here on the side of Kalore. We are about, I think it's like 700 gold off. Uh, Banana almost uh, has his Rift Maker which is going to be a really big thing because then he has to start getting a little bit of defensiveness um, as a uh, while Gragas may be behind, can definitely put in some work. Ridge looking for a play onto Tazy with Banana. Does take a turret shot for his troubles. The Zap gonna connect onto H2O. H2O gonna take about 30% of his HP. 
Uh, only down about 900 gold, so he's not doing that bad. Agor being able to put a decent amount of pressure into the top lane. Uh, get a little bit of pressure in response. We've got Kalore with H2O looking for a potential play. Remember, any airborne knockups or knockbacks uh, will be enough to enable the last breath. Rhododon, Rhododon, Lilia, and so yeah, Banana, Crow, and Lilia. Uh, so Rhododon, Crow, and Banana are the three targets that we are looking to all in. We got a really nice two-man all-in. Okay, Rotodon forced the flash. Mom gonna be invested, gonna be used to assassinate the fly the flash away from H2O. Uh, the ignite coming out. Simba going to uh, murder um, this uh, Gragas, but that's both all four. That's all four sums bot lane. Um, uh, Tazy now just dead uh dead to the lilia burn okay okay Kalori, uh is still needing that second item doesn't have it yet um uh, set working towards a black cleaver gonna be really helpful against uh this malphite uh, Kalori taking about 30% of his HP from a set combo. Unfortunately, uh, Kalori was not the victim to uh, the Haymaker, as maybe things could have been a little different. Uh, but it looks like this third dragon, another Cloud Rift. Uh, Sleepy Time going to be invested onto Jonpei, but Jonpei is pretty tanky. Uh, damn, and Simba just going to assassinate Jonpei. Kalori going to get caught out here. Um... We got the Super Mega Death Rocket. Tazy not tanking that for his mid laner. Okay, things are going from bad to worse. Looks like we're trying to clear the wave. Uh, we're trying to clear the wave here in the mid lane. Unfortunately, now we have the two item mark here on uh, Kalori. Malphite still struggling a bit to make some money. Down about 2,400 gold. The Black Cleaver comes in here for set. And now we have uh, the second item here for... No, almost the second item here for Jinx. Uh, still working about 500 gold off the Infinity Edge, but that's a really big mark. Smolder is getting really close to his second item, though. Only down about 700 gold to his uh, laning counterparts, but uh, that Muramana transform going to be really big. It looks like we are going for, I want to say, Storm Surge here on Gragas. Um, and a Thorn Mail here on Malphite, though there is a lot of magic damage here for the side of lightning so i don't know if maybe we needed a little bit of magic resist uh sunfire gave is nice and malphite does gain a shit ton of armor i believe it's about like almost 60 percent of the armor malphite has he gains from just his w and uh, when it has uh, when it is at ranked five jope does have to be a little bit careful this poppy uh, while not building any damage items does a lot of damage if they slam you into a wall uh, Rotodon gonna get tagged by the Super Scorcher Breath. Ego are gonna look to get some poke here. We've got 177 stacks on the Smolder. Uh, and Ego is just comfortably able to just sit in the wave. His, his shield tanks most of it. He does have a Chemtech Dragon, so it does, uh, it does do a lot of work. H2O now working towards probably, I think, an Hourglass? Or at least getting a Seekers. Um... We got Kalori putting in pressure, but this Yasuo is going to have to perform out of his mind this game, if not for Tazy. Because um, things aren't looking too bright here on the other side for the rest of his teammates. Uh, Junpei now probably working towards the Seraphs, but I don't know if he'll be able to see that completion. He only has 5,000 gold. Okay, the explosive cast is going to be thrown onto Poppy. Um... The bowling ball gonna be invested. And Tacy has about 2,000 gold. Probably wants to take a reset. Uh, there is no wave right now. Uh, now would probably be a good time to get a recall in. We've got Dragon in two minutes. If not, Baron is up. Uh, the side of Lightning have a really good Baron. Tacy gonna get tagged. 
But Jompe with a nice baby cage to make sure that his AD carry not forced to use any summoners. Probably looking to build something else than a mono mini, but I think I think you really want you need the Muramana. And uh, Acor starting to win trades here against Reg. Uh, probably going for a Steric next or an Overlord's Blood Mail here on the set. Um, Yasuo might be going Strikebreaker or could be going Infinity Edge. Uh, we need to see some kind of survivability item here for the side of Yasuo. Uh, we've got a Pink Ward invested in the Baron Pit. Uh, we do not know about it here on the blue side as we were trying to catch out Taisy. Uh But Taisy using the flop, flop, flop early could be signifying something. No, nope, but just going to be able to walk away. Uh, Reg taking a lot of damage. The Malphite Q slowing down sets. But the Face Breaker... Oh, Face Breaker going to miss. Uh, Greg is doing what he can to recoup some gold. We've got Agor here. Okay, uh, so the ultimate was invested by Malphite, uh, but it's a pretty low cooldown. We have the Thorn Mail here, though. Okay. Okay, the Baron looks to be started here by the side of Lightning. Gragas finishes Seeger's Arm Guard, and uh, it's not the fastest Baron. We do have a teleport here invested into the mid lane. We are going to cancel the Baron. Uh, Tacy has 2,500 gold. I don't know what he's waiting for to buy. The last breath invested. Rotodon going to be in trouble. The sleepy time uh, going to be blocked. Reg going to teleport in. H2O is in a bit of trouble. The Haymaker comes out on the Gragas. Uh, Seeker's Arm Guard invested. Haymaker. Uh, okay. Greg is managing to burn a lot of important cooldowns here for the Jinx. The set teleport, the set flash. So a lot of was burned for this Gragas. And it is only the second cloud dragon here for the side of lightning. Uh, things not going too well though. Taisy needs four stacks. So on the next wave, he should have it. Okay, but Agor is going to get a, a good amount of pressure onto this tier 2. However, remember, we do have 5 uh, grubs here. Okay, the Ignite invested with the ultimate by... Um, by uh, Jompei. Uh, Lilia forced to flash away, has the two items now working on the Hourglass. Taisy has 2100 gold, buys the Mermana transformation, and uh, almost an entire, uh, almost an entire, what's it called? Uh, almost an entire Spear of Shoujin. Uh, so Taisy gonna be able to put in a lot of work. A third armor item invested here. Hopefully Malvite starts to build a bit of magic resist. Uh, gonna need it. This Lilia is starting to put in work. Um, Syndra doesn't have much money, but I mean, it still doesn't mean that there's no magic damage. This Lilia is really going to start deleting. Um, Rotodon uh, starting to fall a bit short against this Smolder. Who now has two and a half items. We do have the Infinity Edge and the fully stacked uh, Yuntal Wild Arrows, I believe. Yep, fully stacked. And now going towards a lifesteal item. I think either it's going to be a Blade of the Ruin King or a... Uh, well, it's only two options for ranged characters. So it's Blade of the Ruin King or Bloodthirster. Red's going to be clearing out some wards here. Has hit the level 16, which is important. Uh, Red is going to walk into a Malphite, though. I don't think it's going to matter too much, though. As Simba is here to back his team up. Okay, the ultimate from Jompei going to be invested to kill uh, and Rotodon. Unfortunately, the Frozen Heart plus um, the Frozen Heart. Oh, uh, Greg is going to be slammed into the Baron Nasher uh, and assassinated. Agor going to find Crow, uh, but the Ignite from Poppy is going to save Crow. Oof, by the skin of... His teeth, 
Crow lives, but uh, that was a that was a three for three, and uh, Plume are able to get a bot lane inner turret. The Yasuo now leagues ahead of Syndra. Almost has the Infinity Edge. Jonpei getting a lot of pressure. About half the mid lane turret gonna be taken here by Jonpei. Um, looks like he finished his boots, and now he is... Okay, Simba and Banana trying to close out on Kalori, but not going to be able to close out on him. Uh, Kalori looking to reset. We've got the Shoshin now on Smolder, the Hourglass on Gragas. And now we have a magic resist item here for Malphite. He has a lot of armor, which means if he gets on this Jinx and Jinx attacks, he's going to take so much damage, it's not even funny. Uh, but here, Banana does smite away the Scuttle, securing it. And uh, yeah, Reg, uh, not that he doesn't have any damage, but if he hits Malphite, he takes a lot of damage, because Thornmail is a hell of an item. Uh, okay, we are looking to try and force something. But uh, we've got a Dragon Soul, Cloud, Dra Cloud Dragon Soul point here in a minute. Uh, we'll see who gets the better positioning. HO has to dodge these Lilia Bowling Balls as they do so much damage. Uh, but uh, Taisy, uh working towards his fourth item now, uh, has a good amount of a damage Yasuo has the infinity edge 100% crit looking good now we need this Yasuo to be able to survive team fights hasn't joined a team fight since the mid game uh Jonpei might be in a little bit of trouble uh but Simba does not commit uh the heroic charge it did not take hex flash so uh his flashes are really important and if they get wasted, okay, Banana going to take a uh, Malphite Q to the face. But, uh, I mean, it does do like 200 damage for just Dorn's Ring. Uh, Malphite on a ward. Proudly knows about it now. Okay, the Malphite Shield going to break. Taking another Zap. We're looking for a play onto this Malphite. Okay, Agor uh, going to be sent probably back to the base. Okay, no. Okay, Igor's got some decent regen. We're looking to get a pick. Mom gonna be used on five people. The five man lost breath! And Kalori gonna get a beautiful ultimate! Tazy with the execute! And Rotodon's gonna die! Wretch is unable to make a difference! And that's a five man ultimate! The knockup was beautiful! And the tempo has been reversed! Kalori putting in a magnificent performance. They invest, uh, Lightning invested so much into this Malphite early on that when it came to the team fight, they didn't really have any gas left in the tank. And Taisy is fully scaled, does a lot of damage. The last breath putting in so much work. But that mom hitting five people, getting a massive slow follow with the Gragas. The Gragas didn't even ult. Okay, so that was purely Kalori getting a five-man ultimate. Okay, that is insane. We Notably, though, we do have three items here on the Syndra. And we are working towards an Overlord's Blood Mail here for uh, Ridge. Uh, Ridge. Reg. Um, Lilia did finish the Zonia's Hourglass, which is really big. Yasuo finishing the Mercurial Scimitar. A, a cleanse for the uh, Syndra stun and the Lilia sleep. Uh, we've got the Seraphs now for Jonpei. Uh, Poppy has the Dead Man's Plate working towards a Frozen Heart. The Malphite getting close to his uh, Kainic Rookern. And Gragas really wants about 500 more gold to be able to get his uh, Shadow Flame. Okay. Uh, I mean, Malphite does have teleport. He really would like his Kane of before the fight starts. Has to be careful clearing a ward.
Okay, Crow gonna be the victim. Mom gonna come in. The last breath gonna be enough. Malphite gonna be saved by the Poppy. Is Simba playing for the enemy team? Who knows? Um, the oh the the execute going to wear off. Uh, Tacy going to get hit. Unfortunately, a little bit of a disaster. The GA picked up. Uh, teleport invested here by Reg. Oh, but the execute's gonna be enough to kill the Lilia. We've got, uh, we've got, we don't have much damage without this Lilia. We don't have the damage to kill, uh, to kill. And, uh, yeah, Malphite, uh, putting in a lot of work against this Jinx. Almost has the ultimate, can keep chasing, will be able to just ult. Yeah, just able to ult Rotodon, and he wins fights against Reg. Simba, is Simba going to be able to put up the difference? I guess Simba going to save. Um, okay, we are over investing. Agor going to get executed here by Crow. Uh, a little bit of a ballsy play here. But it is good to be able to just run down the Jinx. However, um, Malphite getting caught. He was saved by Simba, but we really needed... We really, really needed that Malphite to be a little bit healthier. We did help assassinate Crow. Um, who is uh, having a little bit of a struggle here in this game. But, uh, yeah... Lilia now. Kaloi really has to find another MVP ultimate like he did at the dragon fight. Okay, Tacy going over the wall, calling mom. Uh, the Lily is gonna be in trouble, just going to die. We've got a minute left before the dragon, and Soul Point is, the soul is on the line here for the side of Plume. The gold lead has completely collapsed, and, uh, Tazy looking a little bit low HP right now. Uh, H2O gonna be in trouble, uh, gonna get Storm Surge by Crow Kalor, gonna take about half his HP's Worth of damage from Syndra. Has to be careful. The Bobby is able to slam him into the wall. Jonpei uh, has to be careful here. Oh, gonna get annihilated. But the last breath combo. Crow going to die. Uh, Malphite gonna get Poppy ulted once again. Uh, a nice flash by Simba. And uh, yeah, Kalori has to run. Because uh, this set will kill him. But this game is... Pretty back and forth. We got the Malphite. The Gragas is going to be up in 20 seconds. But this might be Soul Point taken here for the side of Lightning. I don't think Malphite alone can put up the difference. But we do have the Teleport. Without without Banana, we uh, we, we are missing some key uh, ultimates. Uh, and yeah, no, unfortunately with Agor dying here, that is probably going to be Baron. Yeah, that is probably gonna be Baron here for the side of Lightning. I have to be a little bit more careful with what we are doing here in uh, the mid game, um, as it does translate into some pretty risky plays. Casey, flap, flap, flapping over the wall. Um, okay, Jonpei gonna be forced to flash away. Um, not gonna be able to. Uh, okay, Gragas is here though. Okay, Jumpe <laughs> tried to steal. Okay, and Reg gonna die here. Okay, it's a 4v4. For seven seconds, but Banana and crew able to secure the. Uh, but Adam Crew able to secure uh, the Baron here. Uh, looks like we are working towards. Sorry, we are working towards. I think uh, Bloodthirster here for Tazy. I'm surprised not to see a Rapid Fire Cannon. The GA does make sense. 
Um, I think maybe a Verdant Barrier here for the side of Viger uh, is what we're looking to get. We have the Overlord's Bloodmail here on set. Uh, Lilia working towards the Rylize. We have the LDR on Jinx. We have the Frozen Heart on Poppy working towards the Rabadons on the Syndra. And Yasuo working towards a Mortal Reminder as his last item. Would have loved to seen something like a Death Stance. Because uh, I don't think healing is that impactful uh, in this matchup. Okay, let's check back in on Jompa and Tezi's stats. We've got 140 stacks, so 440 uh, AP and 360 stacks here. Uh, Jompa, gonna get stunned up by the Syndra, but is relatively bulky. Also about 20 mana away from getting his transformation. I think they should give uh, Jonpei like a few creeps uh, to be able to finish his transmog. Um, it is going to be like really important, but he has to be careful. Um, uh, Tazy getting tagged here could mean something. The last breath going to be invested on the 1 HP Syndra, but Mom's going to be channeled. Kalori is thrown away. The Super Mega Death Rock is going to be blocked by the Wind Wall. Tazy going to absorb uh, that. And now the Execute is live. Poppy's going to go down to Yasuo. And Banana's going to die. Reg dies. That's a 5 for. That's a 5 for 0 here for the side of Plume. And that might be the game, ladies and gentlemen, though. I mean, we have 40 seconds to end with one grub. But uh, maybe that's enough. Hazy uh, recalling. Okay, we've got 20 seconds before Crow is up. So it might just be an inhib. Oh no, I think they might be going for it. Okay, we've got the teleport invested by Agor. Okay, Banana disconnecting? And that's gonna be, yeah, that's the, that's the end of the game. That's a 2-0 by... DH Plume, it wasn't clean, but it was a quality game. Thank you for watching. VOD will be up 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll see you next time. Join us Sunday for Rivals Last Mamago Match. And more details to come. Hell yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more.